yo, yo, welcome or welcome back to the Voice Savvy YouTube channel. I am Kalena and today we are going to be listening to Dimash again because I was just so blown away the last time I heard him, which was the first time I heard him and I have been Dimashified. I am a deer now. I am a deer now. So yeah, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. Wow, beautiful. I love how he begins the opening lines with those soft, whispered tones. It's just absolutely beautiful and it really sets the stage for the song's emotional journey, isn't it? And those delicate, hushed vocals really create that sense of vulnerability and tenderness that immediately draws us in, right? It just draws us into the song, like, straight away. And also, his intonation is spot on and his legato phrasing is so smooth and it's connected and you really just feel the genuine emotions that he pours into the lyrics. You really feel that. I'm feeling it like, oh, I am feeling it. All right, let's carry on. Wow. <laughs> just completely blows me away with his exquisite control over his dynamics like blows me away it's exquisite because he's truly in a league of his own but I love the way that he gradually builds the intensity by increasing the volume to emphasize certain phrases and then he pulls back to create that contrast. It's just so masterful and it's this command with that tension and release that really captures our full attention and it makes every word resonate, isn't it? Gosh. There he goes. <laughs> Je te jure, tout fondé la vie. love his tone there. I love this section because we're getting to hear more of those richer, more varied vocal textures really coming through and it adds layers to the performance and he's hitting that sweet spot with a beautifully balanced mixed voice and there's a little bit of a hint of that sub quality coming through and that's really adding that emotional depth, you know. Ah! I'm so excited, it's beautiful. All right, carry on. <laughs> Ah! I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, really, should I? Um, <laughs> I'm still getting used to his voice. Wow. Okay, I need to find out what note that was because he is not messing around. And he hit that note and it was so crisp and it was so clear. Um, let me just find out what note it is. So that's an F sharp five which is not easy to hit in mix even for the female voice let alone the male voice 
And he hits it in a beautifully controlled mixed voice with a really forward placement. And um, that's just, it's just not easy to do. He, he's just not normal. Honestly, he's something else. Wow. All right. Oh, let's carry on. <laughs> let's carry on. <laughs> that like he knows exactly when to pull back for those tender intimate moments and then when to unleash the full power of his voice you know and I don't know about you <laughs> but I am on the edge of my seat right now I'm like I'm on the edge of my seat I'm flipping floored all right let's carry on gosh <laughs> Give me a second. What? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Gosh, I think I just got, just got goosebumps from that. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just going to stop it because I know it's probably going to go into something really big in a moment. But I just wanted to say that when it comes to Dimosh's seamless transitions through his entire vocal range, from his really deep low notes to his highest high notes, um, that really shows his exceptional command over his mixed voice technique. A mixed voice is the blend of chest voice and head voice, but that's what allows him to glide through his entire vocal range, you know, and without any of those jarring or noticeable changes in sound quality. It's phenomenal, like, it's like he has one voice from the bottom to the top of his vocal range. All right, let's carry on. I don't think I'm ready, but we need to, we need to move on and listen to the rest of this. <laughs> right, let's go. Wow. Wowzers. That's beautiful. So with that, he literally just started out in mixed voice. Then he moved into more of a mask resonance where he really brought the sound forward for more of that clearer um, tonal quality. And it was really piercing in the way that he hit the note. And then at the top there, it sounds like he just touched on whistle. Just touched on whistle at the top there. But I'm just gonna double check that and make sure. So let's just check what the notes are. So the top note there was a D6 and whistle register for the male voice starts around C6. So he literally just touched on it, that um, that whistle coordination, just a little um, there. Yeah, but wow. Wow. He blows my mind. 
he blows my mind. Amazing. All right, let's finish up. tones at the end doesn't he just give everything in his performances like I've seen two performances and this is the second one and he just seems to just give everything in his performances he doesn't hold anything back right he really doesn't I am a deer for sure <laughs> I'm a dear. It is what it is, man. It's not going back now, huh? Not going back. Until next time, I will see you soon. Peace.